Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how not to install solar panels. This is going to be video part two. I was invited to inspect a solar system installed on a flat roof uh, and the solar panels tilted. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I found there. Uh, so here's the solar panels and the installer did use Iron Ridge uh, XR10 rails with the uh, Cubase mounts. If we look under the panels, all Cubase mounts everywhere on the roof same height and uh, they did use L brackets to do the tilt. Iron Ridge has a special hardware to tilt the panels, I think from anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees. And uh, here we have just two L brackets connected together with bolt and uh, the tilt was done by using a little bit longer uh, L bracket on the back side. And this connection is not designed to be like that. The potential problem is if this bolt get loose, entire rail might shift down and this sharp edge of L bracket will uh, damage the panel from underneath. And this damage could cause rot of the panel and potentially even fire. And here's a picture of a backside. We have long L foot connected together with a rail like that. So on the next video, uh, if we look right here, we see that because the angle of the rail was done incorrectly, the end clamp it was not secured to the rail. Even if it, even if they can secure this to the rail because it's shifting, it's going to break this bolt and panel just will get loose. On the next video here, you can see that because of the same rotation, rail is not secured to the L foot. Then uh, here's another location uh, and uh, on the, by this dent I can tell that when uh, installers uh, did, tie, did tie this uh, end clamp, this part wasn't engaged with the rail. So they, they just torqued this, they make this dent, but that part never went to the rail. Here's another picture we see that uh, end clamp is not engaged with the rail. Right here is an end sleeve mist for end clamp and over the time this bolt always it will slide and the um, panel will get loose. So we have to always use either end sleeve or appropriate end clamps. Uh, here's a just recommendation if you install in solar panels for yourself or you hire installer. We have PV wires between solar panels. PV wires are EV resistant, but the problem is uh, like 10 years plus the insulation will crack because of like constant sun and uh, it will just might bring a problem with the panels. So what I would do is either run three quarters conduit and uh, run wires there. But in this case, it's in phase trunk cable. It's, it, we cannot use uh, like three quarters conduit. So I will just take a piece of uh, PVC conduit, cut the part of this and uh, just insert on top of the wires and uh, just zip tie this. So it's just going to hang on the wires, but cable is going to be protected from um, sun. Next is interesting part. Right here we can we see two panels uh, and one panel is damaged right here. And on the second panel we see some um, spots. Uh, if we look at this panel, if, if I do a straight line, we can see that at the bottom, the panel is bent. It looks like someone just like fell on this panel and it's bended in the middle. Additionally, it's cracked from this point. Maybe someone dropped something on this panel and it's just glass shattered across the panel. So this is what we see from the top of the panels. Here's a close look. You can see that it's definitely was impact in this point. And from here, like all cracks going uh, from on the glass. And uh, here's the spots on another panel. It looks like it's a burn panel. And uh, this is what we see underneath of the panels. We can see that the left panel burned through into completely. And the right panel is even worse. It's a huge burn mark and I guess it was it was really close to the fire. So on the right panel, of course, this happened because of physical damage. However, on the left panel, on the, on that one, 
we don't have physical damage from the top of the glass. At the bottom, I cannot tell because everything is damaged there, but it could be at least two reasons. First is, of course, the manufactured defect, but second is something from the bottom. They did damage this uh, cell layer and um, this entire cell, it, it's multiple small uh, like uh, lines going, going through the cell. Two of them shorted and they just made this burn mark. Alright guys, that's all about this video. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.